and introduce him to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.3 kilograms and trains under Gavin Hain and Daniel Lima out of Fight Club Jiu Jitsu and Black Dragon Kai. With an undefeated amateur record of three wins for zero defeats, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Nikita Lassavi! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 65.5 kilograms and trained under Darcy Bendy at a CMPT training center. With an amateur record of one win for one defeat, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for John Ravioli! <laughs> and when our action begins, our referee in charge, Phil Cassidy. First assignment for Phil Cassidy here tonight. Nikita Lapsevich in the blue. John Aiello in the red, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And it's Lapsevich again, Ben. That stand up. And a fast-paced start. John was throwing that left hook. It was the first punch he threw, and it was really sharp. He obviously um, enjoys that punch, but. He's on his back here now, mounted against the cage. In his own corner, though, so he'll be getting good advice there. Um, Nikita's got both hooks and he's landing big shots. They are big shots. You said, you said that John will be getting great advice. No doubt he will. So Brenton Mumford in the corner alongside Jesse Yada and Darcy Fendi. A wealth of experience in the corner of Daddy Ravioli. Yeah, he's managed to lose a hook here, so he's in a much better spot. He's back on his feet, he's fighting the hands. Um, he's doing the right thing. He's going to get Matt returned here. He's on his knees. He can always snuck that far side hook in next to the cage. It's often the harder one. If you step down the hook now, and he's fighting the hand. So. Nikita doing a good job of controlling him here. He is stuffed up against the cage. Can look to land some knees here, just keep him thinking. Oh, nice trip. Extend the right elbow, John. Start posturing up to your right, John. And this is grueling for John. Indeed, it is. It's taxing, and especially when you think that John wanted to implement this same game plan to have it done to him. They caught him off guard a little bit, but he's back to his feet trying to fight those hands. Yeah, and it's funny that um, in the fight, Nikita's just decided he's having some success here in the grappling. So even though it may not have been his plan going in, he decided to just see where it takes him at the moment, which is smart. And another great trip against the cage. He's utilising that body lock really well and controlling where John's going. And then just he's just one step ahead at the moment. John's always getting back to his feet, always fighting the hands. It's going to be sort of a similar sequence now again. He's going to try and get him off the cage, get him moving, and then look to return him to the mat again. John trying to turn in. Yeah, it's a bad place to get stuck. Yes. This is the right thing going back. If you don't get it, you've got to go straight back. And he might get his arm underneath him. Great work from John. Beautiful work. Yeah. Back to 50-50. John's got a bit of work to do now. We're coming to the tail end of the round, but he, it will give him confidence to go sit back on the stool. It's been a bit of a rough round for him to this point, but he's having some success towards the end, so that will help him going back to the stool. Ten seconds left. Nice head control. He's probably going to ride out the round in this position. It'd be good if he could disengage. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, <laughs> And Connor fight. Oh, indeed and it straight is. At, straight picks up straight where he left off, and here we go with John trying to apply the rest of that. That was great defense from Nikita. Got on the elbows, pulled the hands above the bum. And this is better from Ayello. He knows he can't get, can't let Lepsevich build any momentum, and he takes that away immediately. Yeah, it was a great start to the round. Like, didn't let um, Nikita settle into the round at all. Just landed some good shots, drove him back to the cage, got in on a deep double but um, like I said Nikita did really well to initially defend that but he's still pressed up against the cage he still needs to um, change this position Not a nice balance. this is uh, both these guys are obviously good grapplers their balance is really good on the feet 
It's a beautiful takedown. Very similar to the takedowns that were getting used against him in, in round one. And he's taking a leaf out of Nikita's book. But Nikita's Nikita straight back to his feet. A little smile for you there, T. <laughs> they are right in front of us, Ben. That's why I go quiet. I guess I learned my lesson last time. No coaching from the commentary booth. <laughs> Especially when you don't really talk about it, <laughs> I was referring to myself then. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Include me in every conversation, Ben. No problem at all. We're in this together. Aiello continue to press the action up against the cage. This is better from him. So it's almost like a, a reversal from round round one. It's pretty much the same, same round in reverse. So I wonder if it's going to have the same end. Stay active there, guys. Th these guys are very evenly matched. Oh, totally. Totally agree. And again, take some credit for yourself, Ben. Not the matchups me. here I, in Eternal. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yourself and Cam O'Neill, you can't yeah. go wrong. I had nothing to do with this fight. That's why I said it was easy. It was, it, that's why I commented on how well matched it was. On that right hip. Level 10, switch your hips. Look at that. Both boys so knowledgeable about what they need to do. And applying things at the right times, hence why I've got this bit stalemate. No one can really get anywhere. It's difficult because both boys are good and um, shutting each other down, really. But to, at this point, with what what have we got left in the round? Um, 30 Just, seconds. Yes. Probably John on pressure. This was very, like I said very much like, like the first round in reverse. So I wonder if um, Nikita can just get a reverse on and a couple of shots. And, Indeed. And try and get himself in that state of mind to sit back on the stool in a, in a better mind space. So let's see if Ayala decides to disengage and land strikes as he did in round one. Will he continue the pressure there? No, he does so. But a big right hand lands for Ayala. Wow. He signals us underway for round three. Set a cage for both men. And first round free of the night. Oh, those hands are shut. And when he throws, he's committed to the punt. I like it. He's back in the body lock. And here we go. So John's initiated the clinch up against the cage again. Is this going to go down the path that the fight seems to have set for us? Or, or does Nikita know he needs to do something this round? Are we going to see a little bit more urgency? There we go. He's turned straight away. Nikita grounds John this time. Back and forth they go, and it's Lapsovich. He's gotten to the back of Aiello. Down he goes again. Oh, he's lost it over the top just a bit too high there. That could be very costly for Nikita. Um, if John can just establish some control here. Center cage, but no, here we go. Back to um, sort of default, default position for this fight. Hips tight, John. Don't let him turn out to your right. John's done a good job of, of sort of being very aggressive when standing up and getting to where he wants to get to. He's got yeah. those heavy hands, doesn't he, Ben? Well, he throws with bad intentions, that's for sure. But here we're back in the stand-up run. Straight right for Nikita, but he just overextended a little bit straight into that body lock again. And, and again, that's what's happened a lot. John's waiting for the return, just getting his head off the center line and just getting to that body lock. Back to home base. Pushed up against the cage, pressure, body lock. Nikita might get out of here. Oh, very smart from John. He knew where the shot was going to be and allowed the, the clinch to end on his terms. That was brilliant. Sound of that. Maintain inside position, John. Split the guard. Split the guard. Just under a minute left. John Aiello, go ahead, Ben. Sorry, great performance from John. He sort of came back from a sort of rough start to the fight, and uh, to be honest, he's bossed it since then. Since he got that last exchange at the end of the first round, he's been in charge. Well, he's made those adjustments, hasn't he, Ben? It was all Nikita in round one. John turning the tables in round two, and it seems to be the same story in round three. Yeah, and obviously I wasn't privy to the advice that was given in the corners, but, you, you know, it's, it looks to be like they were on the money and um, John's executed his game plan. And he's very clever about when he, when he releases a position. He always tries and gives himself a strike 
and he didn't land at that time, but the, the thought was definitely there. Well, 10 seconds left. Ayala looking for a single. He's got to watch his neck. It's a last effort for Lapsovic. And we will call time on round number three. What a fight. Great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this fight 29-28. For your winner, via unanimous decision, is...